Welcome to the homework for Lesson 38. This is Grade 1, Module 1. Write your name first. And we're finding and solving. We're doing addition here. We're practicing some addition. Find and solve the seven unshaded addition problems that are doubles and five groups. So we're looking at these ones here. These are the unshaded ones. These are the unshaded ones. <clears throat> some of these are doubles and some of them are five groups, but not all of them. So which ones are we talking about? Well, two plus two, that's a double. So we're going to do that one. And we get three plus three and four plus four and five plus five. There's your doubles. And now the ones that uh, have five groups, those are the ones with uh, fives in them, right? 3 plus 5, 4 plus 5, 4 plus 5, and so that gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, any others, oh, okay, so those are the 5 group ones and the doubles. And on the next page, we're going to make subtraction flashcards <clears throat> for the related subtraction facts. All right, so the doubles, so here's the, here are the addition sentences we're looking at. 2 plus 2 equals 4, right? We'll do the doubles for, first. 3 plus 3 equals 6, 4 plus 4 equals 8, 5 plus 5 equals 10, and then we're looking at the uh, 2 plus 5, sorry, let me fix that, 2 plus 5 equals 7, and we're going to make these into subtraction sentences for the next page. 3 plus 5 equals 8, 4 plus 5 equals 9, and we could have 5 plus 5 right twice, but it's going to look the same twice. So we've got doubles and the addition ones. We're going to make those. Now you can have your pages side by side, but because of my software, I can't. So We're going to write related subtraction sentences. We had 2 plus 2 equals 4. That means 4 minus 2 equals 2. And we had 3 plus 3 equals 6. So that's 6 minus 3 equals 3. And we had 4 plus 4 equals 8. So that's 8 minus 4 equals 4. And we have 5 plus 5 equals 10, so we have 10 minus 5 equals 5. All right, and those were the doubles here made into subtraction. And now we're going to do the 5 groups. 7, nine, seven 8, and 9, subtracting 5 each time. 7, 8, and 9, subtracting 5 each time. So 7 minus 5 equals 2, right, because that's the other part. If it takes a 2 and a 5 together to make 7, if I take the 5, I'll have the 2 left, or if I take the 2, I'll have the 5 left. So I have to write both of the related subtraction sentences for that one. Just so it's 7 minus 2 equals 5. I don't have to write the two sentences for the doubles ones because if I write 10 minus 5 equals 5, if I switch these two numbers, it's going to look exactly the same. It's still going to look like 10 minus 5 equals 5. So that's why, that's what it meant before when it said that. Let me just repair that. All right, and our other one was 8, 5, and 3. So 8 minus 5 equals 3. 
and 8 minus 3 equals 5. And then our last one was 4, 5, and 9. Starting with 9 minus 5, that's going to be 4 left. And 9, if I take away the 4, I'll have 5 left. So now you have all the related subtraction sentences for doubles and uh, doubles and five groups in that chart. Those are the ones you can have. You can use. Uh, if you're going to turn this in, don't cut it up first. But uh, when you get it back, you can use these to practice, like flashcards. You can cut them out. And now we're going to write number bonds for all of these. And there's only one number bond for, for the remember we had the doubles, right? The double for four, the double for six, double for eight. So the double for four was two twos. The double for six was two threes. The double for eight was two for eight. Double for eight. It's two fours, and the double for ten is two fives. And then we have seven, five, and two. Seven, five, and two. All right, and then we have these right here. All right, that eight, five, and three. Eight. 5 and 3 in the last number bond. We can see it up here. 9, 5, 10, 4. And that's all we have left.